Hi everybody, I'm Auntie Casey and welcome to Auntie Casey Creative Kids Show. Today with me I have my daughter Hinini. Hi! <laughs> and we are going to be doing a dream catcher. The reason why we're doing a dream catcher, this is one example and this is another example done with paper. Alright? So we have one with a plate and one with paper. And the reason why we're doing a dream catch is because last night he and Annie got up crying. She was crying because she couldn't dream. But you know, sometimes people cry because they have a nightmare. And uh, dream catches help with nightmares. It catches the good dreams and the bad dreams pass through the middle. Yeah? So we're gonna be making a dream catcher. Let me just take it back down for a minute. So this dream catcher, the materials that we use were a paper plate. Yeah. I cut this one already. We had some string. My that's, string. That's Hanini's string. And uh, some beads. And if you don't have beads, that's okay. And that's pretty much what we use for this dream catcher. But of course you can decorate it with some paint. Yeah. Or you can stick stuff on it also. And so we are going to get started with our dream catcher. All right. So the first thing you need is a paper plate. You take the paper plate and you fold it in half. And you cut along this line here. The second thing you need to do is draw some dots around this part here, so not too close to the edge, but here, draw some dots all the way around. And that's where we're gonna be boring a hole. So let me just show them where we drew the dots. So in terms of this, you see the holes are already made. On this one, we made 17 holes. And then what I did was number the holes so that he nearly can lace the cord through. Because when we are lacing it, when we're lacing it, we actually want, just a minute, we actually want the cords to go in on opposite sides of each other. So I put one here, and then two, and three, and then four. So, you can pause the video on this, draw your 17 holes, and number it for yourself. Yeah? So, once that's done, the first thing you want to do is, uh, we just want one end first, we're going to make a knot. So, let go one end. Thank you. And we're going to make a knot to start off. Because the nanny's holes are very large and we made it with a sharpened piece of wood, we took this stick and we sharpened it. You can use a pencil or you can use a pen to make the hole. Or if you have a punch, that's even better. But I'm just going to knot this right here. And then he is going to lace according to the numbers. So while the Nini is doing that, I'm going to show you how to do the paper dream catcher. So I'm going to take a sheet from my construction paper. And I want a square. So I fold... Mommy? I, I do this. That's fine. Oh, no, you don't need a knot there, baby. Because then it's not going to 
is not going to go straight through. So don't put any more knots. Just lace it until it's, it's fine because the knot is small. You just have to keep on pulling it through. Lace it until you're finished with the thread. So you take your sheet of paper and in order to get a square, you take this end and you line it up with this straight edge here, like that. And that's gonna give you a square. So we're gonna cut along this edge here. Like so, so we have a square. And now we're gonna make the circle. Can we see what you're doing so far there, Nini? Okay, let, let go. So Hineni so far has done one to two. And now you're gonna take this end and you're gonna pass it into, what comes after two? Three. I'm gonna push it into three, like that. Okay. And so you keep it folded and then you fold it again into a triangle make sure the edges are straight and one more time Three. and the part that's open like this you're going to take your scissors Three. and you're going to cut Four. off the tip in a little arch Mommy, and if I've done it right yeah, that's the five there, my handwriting, right? It will be somewhat of a circle, somewhat of a circle. We'll deal with that. The next thing you want to do is cut a hole in the middle here. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to do a little arch right here, like so. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut that off so that when we're through, we actually have a hole in the middle. I kind of don't like looking at this um, circle, so I'm going to try and fix it. Yep, that's fine, that's perfect. You want to show them where you're, what you've done so far? Wait a minute. Oh, you put it on the outside. Now, if you do it on the outside, you need to do it on the inside. There you go. When you're gonna, so that's a good lesson. When you're lacing it, lace it towards the inside and not the outside, because then it's gonna go all the way across, right? So one, two, three, and four from the inside. So lace it from the inside. Okay? Not from the outside. So where's five? There you go. So the next thing, I just kind of, I'm cleaning this up a little bit so I can get a better circle. You could always use a bowl or a bowl if you have one. It doesn't really matter. So there's my circle. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it back, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut. Now, I'm not going to cut all the way to this little hole here, and I'm not going to cut all the way to the edge here. I'm just going to cut like a half of an oval out of it, like that. See? Cut that out. And I'm going to cut another one. Mommy. I'm not touching this one. Give me a second. I'm not touching this one. And I'm not going all the way to the edge. Like this. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
cutting a little half of an oval out like that and another one on top but not all the way to the edge like so Bye. and then I'm going to open it up a little bit only this line that one is uh, nine yeah that's nine you need to find six here's six it's upside down I'm going to fold here and then I'm going to do one big cutout again not touching the hole not touching the edge like so and then I'm going to fold this part here and do the same thing one big one not touching the hole not touching the edge and I'm going to open it up And there's my, the makings of my paper dream catcher. I'm just going to take the rest of this and I'm going to make some strips. About three or four will do. I'm going to do three, two, three. I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to stick it onto the bottom of this. Nine. So I'm just going to take the glue and hang my piece right there. The next thing I'm going to do to finish this dream catcher off is How did you do that so quickly? <laughs> is to make my feathers. And this is the same construction paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to do a shape kind of like a leaf. Eight. Like so. And then I'm going to do some little cuts like this nice. so that it looks like a feather. Can you see that? So that it looks like a feather. Ten. Do it on the other side. Of course, you take your time and do it. There's no rush. But how, why did you do it rush? Oh, I'm not doing it rush, I'm just... Well, I'm how just did doing... you do all of these? Yeah, because I just moved a little quickly, but I wasn't rushing. And I'm going to take the glue. And I'm going to stick one of the... Stick one of the feathers here. Like so. And then I'm going to stick the other feather like oopsie like so there you go and so that's the paper dream texture okay. and you can hang a little string right here or another piece of paper in a loop. Eleven. And uh, so that's a paper dream catcher. Now let's see how Hineni is going. Oh, that looks beautiful, Hineni. Can you show that? Here you go. So Hineni is lacing it. And then when she's finished, she's going to attach a thread at the bottom. And she's going to put her feather, her paper feather, like we just made. 
and then she's going to attach a string at the top to hang it. And that will be the end of her project. And it would look, from what I see, it's going to be looking even better than this. <laughs> and just remember, focus on good things, and the bad things will pass you. But if you focus on bad things, the bad Whoa. things will be caught and the good things will be and the good things will pass through. I hope you enjoyed today's art and craft session and I look forward to seeing you and hearing from you again. Thank you. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.